In September of 2016, the European Space Agency Rosetta Probe landed on Comet 67P. And what a lot of people don't know is that there's a Rosetta disk on board. And it's really kind of cool to think that out there in space is this archive of humanity. The disk itself has thousands of pages microscopically formed into the surface of a very thin sheet of nickel. And the nickel is very resistant to temperature. It can withstand high heat. It can withstand changes in environment. And it can potentially last and be readable for thousands of years. In 2008, we released the first version of our Rosetta disk. And we made just a few copies of these. Um, and they're in archives and special collections around the world. But it's long been our goal to create a version that we could make lots of copies of. And the idea of having lots of copies is that that helps keep the information safe because if some of the copies over time get destroyed, then chances are better that some of them will remain. Working with a company called Nano Rosetta, we've developed a smaller version of the Rosetta disk. It has the same technology, that is, it's got microformed pages in the surface of the nickel disk, but it's about the size of a coin. It has a thousand pages of information on it. The main text that we chose for all of these different languages was the preamble of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. And we have that for about 330 languages. And then we have the same set of vocabulary words, about 200 of them, in over 600 languages. So the text and the vocabulary provide that same content in many different languages, and that could be the kind of Rosetta Stone key to deciphering languages in the future. And besides that, we have some very unique uh, content to the Long Now Foundation. One of these is the full text of The Clock of the Long Now by Stuart Brand. We also have some updated clock diagrams as well. I'm a linguist and um, I've studied human languages for a long time. I care very much about the number of languages in the world because I think that each language represents a unique worldview. And it's our hope that everyone who has one of these wearable disks can join us in our effort to build this archive of humanity and to move this knowledge into the future.